Welcome. This tutorial will provide you with reasons to share your calendar and a demonstration of the two steps necessary to calendar sharing. Today we will be using Microsoft Outlook 2010. This computer-based learning is brought to you by TS Technology, empowering people and business through technology. The biggest reason to allow coworkers to see your calendar is that it allows them to stay informed of when you are and are not available if they are trying to collaborate a meeting on a project. They will be able to see when your schedule is free and can then send out an invitation to the meeting that suits your schedule. Sharing calendars is a two-step process. The first step is to share your calendar with the person in your address list and the second step occurs when the person with whom you share the calendar connects to your calendar. Let's now go through the both steps of the calendar sharing process. Start with opening Microsoft Outlook and click on the calendar folder in your navigational pane. With your calendar showing, click the Share Calendar button in the Share group on the Home tab. A sharing invitation email screen appears that allows you to enter or select the name or names of the people with whom you want to share your calendar. For our example, we will share our calendar with Todd Shorley. Therefore, I'm going to click on the To field, which brings up a list of names. Double click on the desired name from your address book. The name will be bumped down to the To field. Again, if you wish to share your calendar with more than one person, now's the time to select another name from the list. When you are finished selecting names, click the OK button. Now that the name is selected, be certain there is a check mark in the Allow Recipient to View Your Calendar checkbox. You can also request permission to view that person's calendar from this same email. Simply check the box to request permission to view recipient's calendar. When you click the Send button, you will receive a confirmation screen to verify that you want to share. The confirmation screen shows the permission level under which you are sharing your calendar. In this case, Todd will only have the right to read your calendar but not make any changes. Click the Yes button and the recipient gets an email notification that you have shared your calendar. You will be returned to your calendar screen. Now that we've wrapped up the first step in sharing the calendar, the second step is performed by the person who receives the email. Click the Mail folder to return to your inbox. For our example, the office admin has invited you to share their calendar. There is an invitation email in your inbox. Give the email a double click to open the item. In this second step, the informational bar at the top of the email screen alerts the recipient of exactly what they need to do. The bar suggests to click the Open button. This button can be found on the Share tab in the Open group. Click the Open this calendar button. You will automatically be led to the calendar folder with both your calendar and the Office Admin calendar showing. We have seen that you can quickly and easily share the rights to read your calendar with another party. But what can you do if you wish to give the person with whom you shared your calendar, in this case Todd, the right to edit the calendar? To change permission levels, you would first click the Calendar Permissions button in the Share group. This triggers the Calendar Properties screen to open. At the top of the screen, click on the name of the person whose permissions you wish to change. Notice that in the Read section of the screen, Todd has permission to read full details of your appointments, but not change anything. If you would like, you can give permission to write and delete items in your calendar. To give Todd permission to create appointments only, click the Create Items option in the right section. When you are done making changes, click the OK button. Todd now has permission to create appointments in your calendar. I hope you found this video helpful to understand the benefits to sharing your calendar and the two steps necessary to share and access calendars. To see more online training videos provided by TS Technology, please visit our website at www.ts-tech.com. Thank you for watching.